Hello Lover friends, I've got a fresh Laval 12.9 update to share with you today. We've got some really cool features including frozen time for testing, transaction callbacks and a really sweet new memorized cache driver that's going to make your apps fly. Let's fly. First up, we have this awesome new feature that lets you return a frozen time for easier testing. This is very helpful when you're writing tests that depend on specific timestamps. The methods freeze time and freeze seconds will now return the frozen time for you to reuse. Thank you, Jason. Next level now allows you to add a callback specifically for when a transaction fails. This gives you so much control over your database operation and lets you handle failures way more elegantly. I'm already thinking about the ways I can clean up all uh, my code and error handling here. Thank you, Davey. We also got a new with relationship auto loading method, which is an addition to what I showed you in the last week's episode. Last week I showed you that it's very easy to introduce an M plus one issue like here where we get all the users, then loop over the users, the post and get the comments. And if we take a look at the queries we make, we have one to get all the users, then we have one to get the post for user ID, one to get um, the comments for this with post ID one, post ID two, and so on. So this is the typical M plus one issue here is about the second user again, and so on. And what I also showed you is, that we can enable automatically eager loading relationships here inside a service provider with this call here. And if we run this code again, you will see we only have one, two to get all the posts here and one to get all the comments. So just three queries, way better than before and no M plus one issue. I also showed you if I going to uncomment this again, what I can also do is do this on the fly on this collection here. So I can say with relationship auto loading and this you will see that still works. We still have only those three queries anymore. But now we have something new. So this is with the new release, what we can do. So let's say we have a model here and not a collection. So if we do this and now let's say for all the users posts, as uh, post. All right, if we run this, we should see an M plus one issue again. Let me see, we get a first user, then we get all the posts for this user with the ID one, and then we have, yeah, one query again for every comment. This is not what we want. And now we can also say this on a model level. So I can say for this user here and for all the relationships here, with relationship auto loading. Let me see if I got that right. One, two, three queries. Yes, this looks good. So no M plus one issue anymore. So this means now you can also define this not only on a collection, but also on a single model. Thank you, Serhi. And finally, there's this new really exciting memorized cache driver that I'm personally super pumped about. It gives you in-memory caching during the request lifecycle. Let me show you. For this example, I've set up here this event listener to make sure that whenever a cache hit um, event was being triggered. So this means when we got something from the cache that we dump out this uh, message here with the key so that we know that it comes from the cache. So in this case, we are putting something into the cache and then let's just return it here. Cache get event and we should get our Laracon US event back. So we first we have this cache hit on the key event. So this means we got it from the cache and then we get here um, this back because the last call here is being returned, Laracon US. And we all know that caching is great. Here in this case, we're just storing a string, but this could be coming from the database. This could be an expensive call. This could be slow to get, so caching is great. But sometimes during the same request, you need to get this item from the cache multiple times here. So, and if we run this, you can see here, yeah, we see the cache hit event every time, so we get it from the cache. All good, that's, the word. that's why we have cached it, so that it's easier to get it. But yeah, still getting this from the cache could be expensive and also could be a little slow depending on your application and your needs. So that's why we have something new which we can do here. So we have a new memo method here on the cache. We use this to put something into the cache. And then what we also do here is we also use this memo method in order to get it. 
And now let's take a look what this does. Now we have only one cache hit event, which is the first time. And for the remaining um, request lifecycle, this item is being stored and we can directly get it without hitting the cache, no matter where the cache lives. This is now even faster. And this is what this new memorized cache decorator does for all your different cache drivers that you can use. So yeah, check it out. This is pretty cool. Please give it a try as well. Thank you, Tim. I want to give a huge thanks to all the contributors who made these amazing features possible. The Laravel community is just amazing and it's these contributions that keep making the framework better with every release. If you enjoyed this update, please also hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest Laravel news and features. See you the next time. Bye.